Well, good evening. We're live from Piper's Auction here in beautiful Steel, North Dakota. Uh, this evening on Sunday, September 13th, we're singing a concert and going to be featuring songs from the newest album, the State of Mind album. This is the, the new album, so we'll be featuring songs on this. I'm uh, glad you all are tuning in here on the Facebook Live. We're going to get uh, we're going to get set up and get the camera in position before the concert starts in just a couple of minutes. So I appreciate you indulging us with that. Um, if you want to find out more, certainly you know give this uh, live video a share. Uh, give my Facebook page a like, Greg Hager Music. You can jump out to YouTube and also look at Greg Hager Music there. And then, of course, the website is a good place for information at greghager.com. So we're going to go ahead and get the camera set up, and then we're just a couple of minutes away from concert start time. So uh, indulge me to walk through this uh, auditorium as we finish up getting set up here. So just a couple of minutes away from start time here. Thanks for tuning in. I see a lot of friends jumping in from Japan and around the world. Uh, we'll uh, enjoy the concert and share it with you here in just a couple of minutes. Yeah. 
Well, well, let's go ahead and get started. The clock says 6.30. Uh, we are doing a couple of things here tonight on, uh, on my camera over here. We're going Facebook Live for some of our friends through Facebook who can't be here tonight. Uh, uh, we've got a bunch of people who tuned in from Japan already. It's, it's actually their daytime while it's our nighttime. They're 12 and a half to 14 hours difference depending upon how daylight savings times work out. And so for tonight's concert, I'm, I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad for the opportunity to be here at Pfeiffer's Auction. I'm glad that they make this building available for community events. I understand there was a movie here last night, and of course, it available for a concert this evening. Uh, my name is Greg Hager, and I am a singer and a songwriter. Uh, I do base all of my travels out of Valley City, North Dakota. We live 12 miles out of town about. And uh, so what I'm going to share with you tonight are all stories and songs that I've written. And the stories that I write come from the journey of life. And uh, we'll tell a story. I'm glad you're here to uh, enjoy it. And I'll take you along starting out like this. Thank 
you so much. We do travel uh, full time with our music. Uh, most years we average about 130 shows on the road. And uh, one of the things that's really interesting, and maybe you've experienced it, whenever you travel to a state that's down south, they always ask you or say the, the same two things. They say something like, you aren't from around here, are you? <laughs> and then they say, you're from North Dakota. How can you stand to live in North Dakota? Doesn't it get cold there in the winter? Yeah. And I just kind of play with them usually. I say, yes, and that's why we love North Dakota so much. <laughs> and I say then, you, go, you see in wintertime, we can take and add additional layers of clothing, and we can go out and do what we need to do. And they sort of understand that. And then I say, but you see down here in the hot, humid south, you can remove layers of clothing, and it doesn't change your situation. <laughs> And then they understand, I think, what's so great about this northern land where we are blessed to live. of who I am and why I do what I do. 
Now, some years ago, I had a different job that took me to the city of New York. And you might say, oh, a prairie, prairie boy gets to uh, go to the big city, the Big Apple. And that was kind of cool, but I got sent there for a job that I had. And of course, when you get sent any place for a job, it's not a, a trip that you're really going to have fun with. Trust me on that. <laughs> you get sent there for somebody else's purposes, somebody else's reasons. And so I was in a classroom in New York City, right at the center of Manhattan, and uh, my classmates and I, we sat around and told stories. We told stories about where we came from and kind of found out what makes us us. And one of the gals in my class, her first name was Kim, and uh, she might be watching, she lives in Las Vegas now. Uh, she said a couple of things that really resonated with me, and I want to sing her story because in her story, there's a truth, I think, that uh, we all can connect with. She said, I grew up in Texas a long time ago. And my family was born, but we tried not to let it show. Doing good for others. I learned young that I was blessed. I am proud where I come from, and I think Texas is the best. But there's a place we all come from. Old cook meals, go get you some. There's a childhood left. church this morning at the, the Methodist Church and we I shared this song there. 
my mom and my grandmothers were very influential in my life in the sense that they poured into me when maybe I didn't deserve it and they gave me a gentle hand when maybe I deserved a, a kick. But you see, they helped form the foundation of my faith and uh, who I am as a person and, and taught me the gentler sides of life. And that's something that you ladies teach all of us just by you being you. And so I want to sing this song for all of you ladies out there tonight. The story started long ago, I'm still telling it today. Stood tall for all those years. Watched us grow and play Unselfishly continued When children moved away Seems that now my heart is empty As I reminisce today All the things she taught me They are with me still
Maybe a little reminder that they wear on their wrist will change their life, especially as everybody's getting back to school this summer. And uh, so help yourself to those. Well, I want to tell a kind of a funny story and song. Because you see, I worked for a guy one time that, I, that thought that I was a horse. It's true. I couldn't please him. And everything I did, he kept riding like he, like he thought he was a cowboy, but he certainly wasn't. And so uh, my wife, Andrea, will join me in a little bit here on some music. But we have three children. Our, our oldest is 22 now. Anna's 22. Uh, she's working at, in music therapy at the Cheyenne Care Center in Valley City, North Dakota. We've got a son, William, who's 19. And uh, he's at Moeller Barber College in Fargo. And our youngest daughter, Holly, just started college uh, three weeks ago. And as a freshman, she's 18. And uh, so when the kids were much younger, I went home after this particular day working for this guy, and I, I patted him on the head, and I went and I got a piece of paper. Because I thought, I need to capture this moment, this feeling of exactly what it is to be ridden like I was a horse by a guy who was not a coward. <laughs> Got a boss, thinks I'm a hoss, he wants to ride me every day. I understand that he's the man whose price I have to pay, but I'll get by. I'll get by. I'll get by. It takes more than just a firm hand on the reins. And the hat don't mean his head will not get dusty. Cause it's the heart that keeps you riding through the pain. Here's what happens next. Well, he saddles up. He says, giddy up, and I get on my way. And if I rebel, it makes me yell. The bit reminds me every day. But I'll get by. I'll get by. I'll get by. More than just a firm hand on the reins. And the hat don't need his head, will not get dusty. Cause it's a heart that keeps you riding through the pain. Well, cowboy logic, it makes a lot of sense. Both hands on the wire when you cross the fence. And when the wind is blowing into it, don't spit. And when you're wearing spurs, you shouldn't squat to sit. Oh, he wears boots and spurs, but he's still not a cowboy. It takes more than just a firm hand on the reins. And the hat don't mean his head will not get dusty. Cause it's the heart that keeps you riding through the pain. his voice, I best get back to work. One of these days, I'll buck him off, he's driving me berserk. I guess I'd rather be the hoss 
through the lights here that some of you know just what I'm talking about. <laughs> hopefully you're not the jerk. And hopefully you're the hoss. Well, I do. So people will often ask, do you always do original music from the stage, Craig? And uh, when I was seven years old, let me set that up. When I was seven years old, I learned to play guitar. And I wrote my very first song when I was seven years old. And I knew at that very young age that I wanted to use music to make a difference in people's lives. And so that dream never, never left, but it sort of matured and became what it is today. For about the last uh, 12 years or a little bit more, we've been full-time with music, averaging 130 concerts each year, about a couple hundred days, traveling around this great United States. I make an annual concert tour to the country of Japan, and uh, had we not had this little health situation, Andrew and I would have been entertaining at Olympic Village this summer on a team over there, so... We'll be back in Tokyo next summer at the Olympics, and uh, that's kind of exciting for us. But the dream I had of music and making a difference, I decided that I wanted to only sing the stories, the songs that were connected with me personally, the songs that I had written, the stories that I had written. It's, it's like if you go fishing and you tell your buddy, hey, I gotta tell you about the fish that I caught. It makes a whole lot more impact if you're talking about your own fish Rather than saying, I went fishing with a buddy and, you know, he, he caught the fish. He reeled in it. You know, it just, it's all different if it's your story. And so the inspiration for the songs that I write come from my own life growing up on the land and from situations that I've been privileged to have with other people. Now, this next song is called Fast is Slow. And if you've ever worked cattle, you know that you've probably heard it. If you want to get them back to the yard quickly, Greg, you need to go slowly. That uh, was the inspiration of, of the title. But uh, this song actually has a little bit of truth into it. And so let me tell you, let me sing for you what actually happened in a conversation that I had with an old cow. <laughs> He was sitting there alone, and so I saddled up a chair. The waitress poured my coffee, he had a distant stare. Living some old memories, a life he used to know. He cleared his throat and whispered soft and low. The only way to get them fast is slow. Started telling stories of his life out on the trail. Twenty thousand sunsets mark the lessons learned so well. He talked about the winter and how rain makes cattle grow. Bound round up when they got the word to go. The only way to get them fast is slow. If you try to rush them, they will turn on you. You'll feel the fire in their eyes, they'll try to stomp on you. One thing that's worth noting, better get it in your head. A life's a better place than being dead. If you don't push them with you, they will go. The only way to get them fast is slow. He described to me the difference between leaders and the led. How the way to work the cattle is to get inside their head. Convince that where you need them next is where they want to go. Have patience, son. Don't let your temper show. The only way to get them fast is slow. If you try to rush them, they will turn on you. You'll feel the fire in their eyes, they'll try to stomp on you. 
One thing that's worth noting Better give in your head A life's a better place than being dead If you don't push them with you They will go The only way to get them fast is slow And then he said there's one more thing I'll tell you Cause it's true Goodness, the, the wisdom of an old cowboy, right? I play an Irish guitar, and uh, it's a, the whole thing is carbon fiber. And one of the things that I like about a carbon fiber guitar is that regardless of the weather, temperature, humidity, any of that, nothing about the instrument changes. And this particular guitar is, is an Irish guitar. It's made in Donegal, Ireland, by a company called the Emerald Guitar Company. And that only matters because you, if you go back in history and you look at this Great Plains where we live, in the days of the great cattle drives, back in, in the, the mid to late 1800s when uh, Ireland was, was having its uh, potato famine and such, there were many, many Irish who came over as immigrants. And history tells us that they were not very well liked. And uh, whether it be in the big cities, and so many of those Irish men came out because there was work with the cattle. And a lot of them, history says, got a job where they could be together, but they rode at the tail end of the great herds. And of course, history, we call them a drover. And so that sets me up to sing a song about an Irish cowboy. And uh, sometimes I wish maybe I was that cowboy. Like snow on the ground That's here for a season And gone by the spring As soon as the meadow are sing Always their voices Are calling to me Becking Ride towards the west. 
Thank you so much. How many of you folks have a so-called smartphone? Lots of smiles, lots of... Don't you sometimes wish for your dumb phone back? The one that had buttons? You might notice on my, my right hand, I get four fingernails manicured for the picking that I do. And I have the worst time trying to touch that screen that's a, get my pinky in there or something. Well, when I'm not on the road, I oftentimes will help drive school bus for our, our local uh, bus company in Valley City. And trips are not the same as they used to be because it seems like every kid has some kind of so-called smart device, whether it be a pad or a, a camera or, or something. And so when you're driving a night sports trip or whatever, everybody's face is lit up. They used to be dark and quiet trips. Now they're just quiet, but it's no longer dark in the bus. And I was looking in, uh, in my big rear view mirror one day, driving back to Valley City, and I thought, everybody you hear talk about the danger of secondhand smoke. And I thought, but I've not heard anybody talk about the danger of secondhand phone. <laughs> now just think of it, you're probably driving over here, you probably saw somebody in the driver's seat trying to do this, and they weren't paying attention to driving either. It's dangerous, so let me try to answer this question, this huge problem that we have of secondhand phone. You can text and you can tweet and you can think it's pretty neat to follow millions just like you. You write things upon your wall, but never have the time to call. Your face is turned across the shade of blue. Well, there must be a solution to this optical pollution. It's all around, oh, can't you hear me groan? It's a logical rejection. It's not good for my complexion. The shadows dapple me just like a rose. I wish you would leave your space where it belongs, not in my face. You can take your tube and stuff it. You went into Instagram, so don't tell Pinterest who I am. It's my choice to use or love it. Well, there must be a solution to this optical pollution. It's all around, oh, can't you hear me groan? It's a logical rejection. It's not good for my complexion. The shadows dap on me just like a rose. Second hand phone. Second hand phone. Remember the days of the selfie sticks? I kept getting up pictures of me. And the people texting and falling over objects and off the curbs. It's terrible, really. Well, there must be a solution to this optical pollution. It's all around, oh, can't you hear me groan? It's a logical rejection. It's not good for my complexion. The shadows dap on me just like a roan. Your light disturbs me when I just assume be left alone. Fingers spoken on the keys, my eyes are burning. Stop it, please, this isn't you to spend the time alone. Oh, you're killing me with second hand phone. So if you are inclined to use the technology, you can you can go to Facebook and you can give Greg Hager or Greg Hager Music a like and uh, keep up that way. Uh, if you Instagram, you can search up Greg Hager Music. If you MySpace, you can go to Greg Hager Music. 
I can use Snapchat, you can go to Greg Hager. If you want to go to my website, it's greghager.com. Okay, I do it. If you're doing it, I'm doing it. It's a good way to stay connected, but in all seriousness, uh, it's uh, a great way to kind of get connected and let folks know where in the world we are and what in the world we are doing. I was privileged uh, that I've uh, got an aunt and uncle over here. Uh, my, on my mom's side, uh, their farm was about an hour away from where we lived, Bug Valley City. And then our, our homestead, our farmstead, was next to the original Hager homestead. And so I had the privilege of, of growing up with my uncles and my grandfathers in, in my life. And uh, Merle back here knows my grandpa Hager from his time in Valley City. And I was sitting with my grandpa Hager, my dad's dad, not long before he passed away. And I said to him, Grandpa, tell me about the good old days. And, and I thought I was going to hear another one of those great stories like I'd heard so often about his favorite team of horses or how he liked to put up hay by, by, uh, by wagon load and, and all of those things. But this time was different. Grandpa looked at me and he raised his finger and he said, Greg, the good old days weren't that good. It was mostly hard work. And then we had a nice conversation. But you see, whether Grandpa knew he was dying at that point or not, I don't know. But he wanted me to realize that I shouldn't wish that I was living in some other place and some other time, that these are the good days, and I need to live for today, and I need to, to not regret and wish I was someplace else in some other time. And then what that did for me is that made me think about the beauty of every life that we have, each life that we have, that every single day when I wake up in the morning, I have the privilege of a blank piece of paper. And no matter what happened in the previous days and chapters and pages, I have an opportunity every single morning to write a new page that will become my life's book, my life's legacy. The story of Greg Hager that will carry on just as each of us does. Every day that God gives us life, he gives us opportunity. And I look at my life book sometime and I'm tempted, maybe I should tear out a page. But no, I want to be able to always look back and see where did I come from? What did I come through? What did God help me get through? And to keep moving forward. And as it is, each of us is here because somebody ahead of us didn't give up. And it's a blessing to be able to continue a long line. <laughs> I won't ask the man about the years of yesterday. Wisdom answered with a twinkle in his eye. The good old days were not everything to think of. Took lots of hardship to get by. But I come from a long line of dreamers. I saw the glass of life half full. We got it done by being workers and on steamers, and whose eyes were never covered up by wool. It's been said I dream about the years of yesterday, but my heart knows the best is yet to come. Looking back, it helps give you perspective. Cause who I am is where I come from. And I come from a long line of dreamers. Who saw the glass of life half full. Who got it done by being workers and all schemers. And whose eyes were never covered up by. Years from now, these days will be the years of yesterday. And if I'm asked, I'll tell the truth. Now's the moment to be planning on your future. Your legacy is up to you. Because you come from a long line of dreamers. 
all the glass of life half full. We got it done by being workers and not schemers, and whose eyes were never covered up by wool. And you all come from a long line of dreamers. We saw the glass of life half full. Who got it done by being workers and not schemers And whose eyes were never covered up by wool For tonight's concert, uh, we had some uh, promo material out that I was going to be featuring some songs from the new album. And I sort of was tempted being here in the auction barn to try and speed up my speech just a little bit. And then, of course, my wife had a, a voice of wisdom that I tried to ignore, but she said, don't do it. Don't do it. Because I was thinking, no, welcome to see the, anybody here, everybody here, see it, don't do it, you know, you know, I'll stick with singing, I can't auction here. The, the new album is called State of Mind and uh, was released about a year ago. And uh, I'm very proud, having been born and raised here in North Dakota, being a North Dakota musician traveling, uh, that album has gotten significant radio play on the Western music charts around this great world that we live in. Uh, for 14 weeks, the song I'm going to sing for you was the number one song in the world on the Western music playlists. Uh, the album was in the top 30 of Western albums in, on the worldwide music charts. And so uh, a dreamer from North Dakota, following his dream, trying to do as well as he can using music to make a difference, getting a couple of pats on the back is, is just rewarding. Uh, a little over a year ago, I was down in Fort Smith, Arkansas uh, for the Pro Cowboy Country Artist Association music show. And I was named the Entertainer of the Year uh, with that association. And uh, to, to get to share and be just a, a little North Dakota dreamer, as I said, is, is just a thrill. And to get to be here and singing for you is, is uh, I don't take that lightly. Here's the title track off of the newest album. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, 
wasn't just the place you hang your hat. My friend, it's really so much more than that. It's a state of mind. So far tonight, we've uh, we've sung some uh, stories about life and live and living and ca and uh, cattle and country cowboys, etc. I want to sing a few songs about love because the picture of love is something that uh, I think too many people cheapen. And uh, for example, this last June, just a, a few months ago, Andrew and I celebrated our 25th wedding anniversary, and uh, it was a uh, hell. It's not that easy, but you just stick with it. You go day to day to day sometimes. It's worth it. And then there's, of course, the love that we have for country. And we'll explore that in a moment. And then, of course, there's the greatest love, and that's the love of God. So I'm going to sing a song called Lost in Love, because it, it, in this song, I tried to capture what it's like to actually be in the kind of the romantic kind of love when it's right and there's no regrets and there's nothing wrong in it. You're lost. <laughs> So anybody play golf in here? A few people? So let's say you're out on the, uh, the tee box and you, you set up your, your golf ball and you get up your one driver and you, you give it all you got and it, uh, yeah, it goes somewhere you don't want it to. You, you do something really special. There's a really special word that you can award yourself and it's called a, a mulligan. A mulligan, I heard it. So in golf, you, don't, you, you really shouldn't take a mulligan. But in music, I sometimes say, I'll give myself a musical mulligan. So we're just going to pretend like that little mistake never happened. Here's a song called Lost in Love. <laughs> I wonder, did I lose my way? And where am I from? And where am I going? I just can't say. And who is this face in the mirror? I don't think I've seen it before. And what's with the smile? It's easy, it used to be such a chore. But waking up, there's nothing else I want to do Sharing life and dreams I am lost in love, it seems The sun seems much no, 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 no. The sun seems much brighter today, and I hardly know what's going on. I can't help but smile and dream for a while. Now my night is gone. This is embarrassing. Uh, you lost me. Anyway, waking up.
when time passes by so quickly and it never does slow down and still I can't shake this question did I drown did I happens. That song I have probably sung 600 times in the last 12 years. Why does it happen? I don't know. It's like driving down the interstate and then there's a stripey line, stripey line, stripey line, stripey line, line, pothole. Hmm. What's next? <laughs> I don't know. But that way you know it's live for all the folks watching on Facebook land and probably by next week we'll have about 4,000 views of this concert. Now see my little blunder but oh well, that's that's so real. So for my Facebook friends, uh, this is this is real concert here tonight. <laughs> my in-laws uh, two years ago celebrated their 50th wedding anniversary. Uh, my folks last summer celebrated 50 years together. Anybody else had that beautiful golden anniversary? Several of you. One of the things that that uh, I have observed and I've heard folks say who've been married. 50 or 60 or even sometimes more years is uh, just that they, they talk about commitment through good, you know, through good, bad, better, worse, worser, uh, poorer and poorer and you know, all that stuff that you're supposed to work through, you stick together. And secondly, what I've heard more often than not is that it didn't seem like much. You know, it's just, you just live every day and, and here we are at 50 years. And my father-in-law for their 50th wedding anniversary said, Greg, if I give you some uh, some story about how Jane and I met, the Andrea's mom, how, how Jane and I met, would you put together something? And so I want to sing to you the story that I wrote for my in-laws, but again, for all of us, there's a lesson here. As with any great story, there's a moral, and I think you'll know it. Doesn't seem like much. <laughs> Sitting there, white gold boots and made up hair. He learned her name, and that was all it took. Just out of his army dreams, he talked of things that he had seen. Said he had pictures, would she like to look? She had seen played hard to get. He found her place and didn't quit. A cottage home, he walked up to the door. Nervous knock his picture book, just being nice, his invitation book. They said we had love for all to see, forever it was meant to be. Through good and bad, we stood together tall. They said we've seen thick and we've seen thin, a time or two, and back again. Our faith in God has brought us through it all. Besides, 50 years together doesn't really seem like much at all. A 
green autumn gold We danced her love of him on gold A super sport in palace on her eyes At a switchboard she connected lines An operator so divine She said I'd really like to be that guy They owe it all to Mr. Sloan Where rent was paid and not alone An introduction made inside his place was born, a legacy that never has been born. They said we had love for all to see, forever is what's meant to be, the good and bad we stood together tall. They said we've seen thick and we've seen thin, a time or two, and back again, a faith in God has brought us through it all. Besides, 50 years together doesn't really seem like much at all. They said we had love for all to see, forever is what's meant to be. The good and bad we stood together tall. They said we seen thick and we seen thin, time or two and back again. Our faith in God has brought us through it all. years together doesn't really seem like much at all. Can't you see how 50 years together doesn't really seem like much at all? Myself, but I, I've taken to you know that Lord's Prayer that Jesus taught us how to pray in Matthew five, and, and I've taken to or seven. I'm getting confused now. The point is, pray, put God first in all things. That's what He taught us. And secondly, He taught us to pray for daily bread, and that's the one that kind of gets me because I look at that stack of bills and I look at the fact that I'm husband and father and I'm providing. I'm blessed and privileged to provide for my family. And so sometimes when I, I pray, I, I maybe don't have all the faith that I should because I sometimes would pray something a little bit like this. You know I love those cattle I sure love this land Out here in your beauty There's so much to comprehend You clothe every blade of grass And flower that is found And you know each time a sparrow hits the ground You taught me how to pray In your words of bread once again I'm here asking for my daily bread What would it hurt if I could get a little more? Lord, it's not for me but for her that I'm asking for Lord, it's not for me, but 
but for her that I'm asking for. Thank you. So I want to bring up the her that uh, is kind of the object in that song. I'm going to have Andrea come up and uh, she'll join uh, for this song and then another one in just a little bit here. But she's going to hit go on the machine and then she's going to run up here and not trip over a cord. And <laughs> <laughs> but you see, in, in life, you've maybe heard it as well. People have said, Greg, you need to live for the mountaintop experiences. And I can tell you that uh, I, I do like to hike, and I've been on the top of a lot of mountains. And the thing about a mountaintop is you can see really well, but there's nothing, not much alive on the top of a mountain. It's cold and craggy, and, and, uh, and uh, just you visit it, but you don't live there. And you can look from the top, and you can look down into the lush valleys that are below and see that's really where I belong. That is, you can turn this down a little bit. That's, that's where I belong, is in those valleys that are down below. So she's going to join me on this song. <laughs>
valleys are really much better. We've kind of, as we've sung along this evening, we've talked, as we said, life and living and love. We talked about kind of that romantic love between a, a man and a woman and, and how beautiful that is. I took the liberty to put uh, the most beautiful set of colors that I've ever seen. A set of colors that's been attacked over the, the centuries, the last couple hundred years, but has always stood tall. A couple days ago, we were reminded how, once again, the great colors of the United States of America were attacked in New York City and uh, at the sacrifices that people gave to defend freedom and liberty. And the sacrifices that it does take every day to keep these colors, the beautiful red, white, and blue. I want to sing a true story that uh, kind of relates to this beautiful flag. And uh, I was traveling in Tennessee, and I, was, uh, I took a stop, and, and there was an old man who was wearing a veteran hat. And I took off my hat and I stuck up my hand and I said, Sir, I want to thank you for your service to our country. And so I want to sing to you exactly what my conversation with him was because you see, he didn't think he had given enough in service to our country. Let me sing to you what I mean. <laughs> Thank 
servants and sacrifice, none of us would be here today. I stopped down to your beautiful Veterans Park, downtown Steel, and, and took a moment and was just touched being there, that you're commemorating and honoring the people of Steel in this community who gave, in some cases, the ultimate sacrifice. I do love the flag of our country. Amen. Amen. There's human love. There's a love of mankind that blows me away. How could... How could our fellow countrymen love us enough to go do things on our behalf? I marvel when we, when you dial and need an emergency service and the police run into whatever circumstance it is. The firemen come to your fire and they, they run into it. That's an amazing love to me. That's it's, it's a more amazing love than the, the love that you have for your spouse. But there's even a greater love than that. John 3.16 says that God loved the world so much. So much that he gave his only son. That whoever, whoever would believe in him would not perish but have everlasting life. And that's a love that blows me away more than anything. That in my, my condition, the Bible says that God loved me that much. That he would give his son's life for me. That by accepting what he did on that cross all those years ago, that I could have a heart that's made clean. That I could love the way that he asked me to love. To love him first, as we talked a little bit ago, and to love my neighbor as myself. Uh, Andrea is going to come back up for this song, and and uh, this song is is kind of the the reason why we do what we do. People always ask after a concert, you say, "Well, doesn't it get old to just live in your car?" But yeah, sort of. But you see, the dream of using music to make a difference is so much greater than any temporary discomfort the opportunity to get on the road and to share through music encouragement and, and beautiful stories of life and love and cattle and cowboys and all the things that we love in our society that are good and wholesome and, and worthy looking up, worthy to look up to, you know, real type of heroes, to realize that there's a greater purpose, that nothing we do here on earth has any context or meaning unless we can put a spiritual component onto it. That that's what really gives life meaning. It makes life worth living. Jesus is the answer. Though the fig tree does not blossom, and there are no crops in the field, I will never get discouraged, for God will bring abundant you when the fruit of all my labor doesn't get me anywhere I'll still be joyful in my Savior and I'll thank Him then and there cause He's my light He's my song He's my strength to carry on it's by His grace that I've been free. He's the answer to my need. There are times where I am tempted when the road is steep and long to go the path of least Walking with the throng, but then he calls and I look upwards, and I see his better way. It's only when I look at Jesus 
that I can stand up here and say that He's my light, He's my song, He's my strength to carry on. It's by His grace that I've been free. He's the answer to my I know my life is like a garden With many fruits that could be grown I also know that God is careful With the seed that He has sown There are droughts and times of thirsting When I'm praying for His rain And there are times of sweet refreshing both I'll raise my voice again Cause he's my light He's my song He's my strength to carry on It's by his grace that I've been free He's the answer to my need And he's my light He's my song He's my strength to carry on. It's by His grace that I've been free. He's the answer to my need. He's the answer to my I've got one last song for you guys tonight, and before I before I do that, I want to just uh, also reinforce that that last last song is really what matters in life. That uh, nothing has meaning unless it's in the proper context, and uh, to uh, not miss that point tonight. We've had fun, and I loved doing this. I love doing the the, the stage presentation of, of my songs, and, and it's been a beautiful beautiful night. Uh, if you are so inclined to, to jump out on the Facebook and search up Greg Hager or Greg Hager Music and give that page a like, you can keep in touch with us that way. If you do the Instagram or the Snapchat or uh, MySpace or uh, LinkedIn, any of those? Pinterest, uh, you right. can find me at all those places. Just search up Greg Hager and, of course, the website greghager.com will have all of that information and more. Um, we would love for you to pick up a contact card. You know somebody that I don't, and uh, maybe you know of an event or a place that's looking for family quality entertainment, and we would love to take our roadshow and, and uh, stop and see them wherever in the United States or the world it is. Um, so grab a contact card, it's back at our table there. Do pick up a handful of these Be Who You Are bands if you can pour into a youngster's life, or maybe you put it in your own life and remind yourself. Um, Use these as a tool that might just change somebody's life to remind someone to be who you are. You're special, you're individual, there's nobody like you. That's who you are, so be who you are. The exchange we've had tonight has is, is been something that neither of us can get back. Because you see, the only thing that all people have in common, no matter what walk of life they are, is the same number of minutes in every single day. And I am so grateful you've given me your minutes tonight, this time that we've had together. And in exchange, I've given you my heart, my soul, the essence of who Greg Hager is, and it's been a beautiful thing. And I, I think, frankly, I, I got the better end of the deal. I'm so grateful for you being here tonight and uh, being a part of this uh, concert. So I want to close with uh, this song. I call it my comeback song. I do hope someday to be able to come back and to share again and steal. And so I'll wrap up with this song. We'll see you at the table after the concert this evening. When I'm away, it always calls my name. Though it changes somehow. 
stays the same. Memories made here stay in my heart. Words cannot convey the depth, so let me start by saying one thing that is true. I know what to do. I'll cherish every moment until it's gone. But I'll see you again. Though I don't know just when. So promise me you'll smile and sing my song. Question why I choose to roam. And home, they say, is where you keep your heart. And part of me is here. So let me start by saying one thing that is true. I know what to do. I'll cherish every moment until it's gone. But I'll see you again. Though I don't know just when. So promise me you'll smile and sing my song.